Om Shanti, today is your 124th day of your Godly Blessing and in today's Godly Blessing, God the Father or Baba, we sweetly call him Baba, he tries to remind us that truth can only be one and truth doesn't need to be explained in many words. Just one word of truth is very powerful. Just like anything which is very rare, doesn't need to be explained. Its value is very high and it is less in number. Similarly over here, God's versions or God's truth or the knowledge which he gives is also very short and sweet and can be understood by having a very clean and clear heart. So let's understand in today's blessing. So Baba says, may you be accurate and powerful. Accurate means to the point and powerful because those words affect other souls. They are such powerful words that they are the truth and truth pierces the heart of each and every person, especially when it comes from God. And clarify all the secrets of knowledge in a few words. So at Brahma Kumaris, we learn the knowledge about who am I, how many births I have taken, when did I come on this earth, and what is going to happen in the future next, and how many more births are left for me. Is this the last birth? Is the time not enough anymore for us to dream and think about the future days or it's time to transform and be ready to go back up from where we all souls came without getting anything in our hands. So God says in explanation, anything that is extremely powerful is very little in quantity. As we've understood, even diamonds, they're very little in quantity, right? Gold is also less in quantity, but diamond is even lesser than that. So we need to understand that the quantity is less, so the value is higher. And we also understand that in the same way Baba says, when you become stable in your stage beyond sound, that means when you go into meditation, when you go beyond sound, when you're not looking for answers from your five senses, because we're always looking for solution in our five senses, either through money power or through person position power, or we only believe what we see. God says, you cannot see me, so how can you believe in me? For that, we have to go to our sixth sense. That means the knowledge of the soul and be stable in the soul consciousness to understand what is God or to understand God consciousness. Because God is a soul and he is bodiless. So I have to be in a practice of bodilessness or soul consciousness so as to get to understand or to feel who God is exactly. So then Baba says in the same way, when you become stable in your stage beyond sound, before you come into sound, this is the world of sound and Paramdham or the supreme abode where God stays is a world beyond sound because there are none of the five elements over there. Not even time exists over there. So imagine that world. Then Baba says, before you come into sound, then even though you will use few words, because when you come into sound by being first in silence that means meditation when you come into sound you don't try to talk a lot you always have a gist of everything in short so god says each word will have the significance of a thousand words merged within one so it's just like a potent solution which has an effect on every disease similarly we heard this godly knowledge when we go into silence and when we talk about it, it is very limited and to the extent that we use very few words, but all of them have a huge effect or they open up all the paradigms of your understanding of this complete world or the world drama. So God says then, each word will have the significance of a thousand words merged within it and wasteful talk will automatically finish. You won't have to give any more explanation. Because truth doesn't need explanation. Truth is in few words, but it has a huge impact. It's like an atomic bomb. So Baba then says, with one word, you will be able to clarify all the secrets of knowledge and the expansion will finish. We don't need to read so many scriptures and everything. When God comes and tells us that you are a soul, then the whole knowledge is merged in that. Because my reality and your reality is that we are all point of light. If we get to know where I the point of light came from, 
everything is explained. I understand that I am a soul. Only then I can understand who God the Supreme Soul is. So I leave you with this beautiful Vadan. Have a blessed day. Think deeply about it. Om Shanti. Stay safe. Thank you.